In this video, I'll be going over the best passive income business in GTA Online as of 2022 so that you can make just as much money as I have from running this business. The bunker has overthrown any other business in the game with recent changes made to it in the Criminal Enterprises update. This video will guide you through the money making aspects of the bunker and not the research features. So with all that being said, let's get started. The location of your bunker plays a key role in maximizing profits. The further away your bunker is from the city, the harder life will become for you in the long run. Most players go for the Pali or Forest Bunker because it is the cheapest option. However, cheapest doesn't always mean best. One bunker which is cheap but efficient is the Chumash Bunker. This specific bunker's location has a major effect on your income. It costs only $1.6 million and is located right near the highway which will become very useful during cell missions. The cosmetic upgrades to the bunker are a waste of money. Don't bother with any of them except the personal quarters which allows you to spawn into your your bunker whenever you switch sessions or join the game, saving you a lot of time. When you first head to your bunker, you are required to set it up just like every other business in the game. This setup mission is a quick and easy pickup and drop off. Collecting a vehicle and delivering it back to your bunker will kickstart your passive income empire. This setup mission fully increases your supply bar, which will help you out massively. After you have done this mission, you need to head on over to your computer in the bunker and assign all of your staff to manufacturing. This will make you the most money possible. A full batch of supplies in the bunker will be used up in 1 hour and 40 minutes however with a fully upgraded bunker this time crunch will increase to 2 hours and 20 minutes one full bar of supplies will net you $100,000 without upgrades or $140,000 with upgrades if you couldn't already tell that the upgrades are a major necessity to the bunker increasing profits and saving you time there is three upgrades you can buy for the bunker the equipment upgrade costing $1.1 million and the staff upgrade for $590 thousand dollars the final option is in my opinion unnecessary and a waste of money the security upgrade costing you three hundred fifty thousand dollars with the upgrade the likelihood of the bunker being raided is reduced however the amount in which your bunker is raided is very rare making this upgrade a waste of your money as i already mentioned the upgrades are very important if you have purchased all performance upgrades for your bunker which are the equipment and staff upgrades then the time it takes for your bunker to fill up is increased by 40 minutes taking 140 minutes minutes for your full supplies to produce. But this comes with some positives. If you sell to the highest buyer, such as Los Santos, for higher profit, then without upgrades, a full batch of supplies will give you $180,000 and with both upgrades, this will change to $260,000. So the upgrades to the bunker are totally worth it for higher profit. If you bought the Chumash bunker for $1.6 million and you also bought the staff and equipment upgrades, that comes in at a total price of $3.4 million. With the the upgrade cost being 1.75 million then that means it will take you 38 hours to break even on the money that you spent there is two ways of obtaining supplies for your bunker one is from stealing them and the other is through buying them if you choose to steal supplies it requires you to do a total of five missions in order to fill up your bunker stock completely this wastes a lot of time the only thing you should be doing is buying supplies and this costs $75,000 and to fill up a bunker fully you will need to buy supplies a total of five Five times costing you $375,000. A full bunker with all upgrades sells for $1,050,000 giving you a total profit for $675,000. Buying supplies is the best way to do it and it saves you a massive amount of time. With the Criminal Enterprises DLC the newest feature added allows you to sell weapon parts to a local ammunition. These weapon parts will spawn in your bunker every 48 minutes real time and you'll be notified when they are ready. All you have to do is deliver the vehicle to a selected ammunition point on the map. Completing this mission rewards you with $50,000 every time, which is a decent amount on the side income. As a solo player, selling a full bunker can be very frustrating as full stock gives you more than 3 vehicles, which depending on the sell mission are impossible to sell solo. There is a method you can use as a solo player to make this easier. Buy one batch of supplies for $75,000, then complete an ammunition contract giving you $50,000, leaving you with only $15,000 thousand to make a return on and then wait for this batch of supplies to fill up for two hours and 20 minutes and then sell that amount which will give you one cell vehicle and this cell mission will give you two hundred ten thousand dollars giving you a profit of 135 thousand for doing hardly any work 
Alternatively, you can wait for your bunker to fill up fully, which gives you just over $1 million. And like we mentioned, buying supplies gives you a profit of $670,000. Some solo missions are easier than others. For example, the June buggies are a no-go for solo players, and the Insurgent Merryweather missions can also be a lost cause. If you get very lucky, you may receive the Phantom Wedge cell vehicle, which is insanely easy to sell solo, making you an easy 675 k If you want to sell with friends rather than doing it solo, that is up to you. It will make these missions a lot easier though. On a final note, one of the best things to happen with the bunker is double money activities. Whenever these go active, you can make a total of just over $2.1 million for selling a full bunker, which gives you a massive amount of profit, so keep a lookout for the double money events. And there we have it, that was everything you needed to know about the bunker in 2022 in order to increase your income. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe as well as dropping a like on it. And with all that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.